Let's discuss colorectal cancer, a significant health concern worldwide. Colorectal cancer is a type of cancer that starts in the colon or rectum, usually from abnormal growths called polyps. Hello, I'm Dr. Naresh Trehan from Medanta, the Medicity. March is being celebrated as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. To highlight the importance of screening and to promote healthy lifestyle and to decrease the risk of colorectal cancer. So this whole month we shall be actually talking about what can one do to minimize the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer, the third most common cancer globally, with a four to five percent lifetime risk, is not limited to white men and is increasingly prevalent representing an epidemic in India. What we eat, our lifestyle, determines our risk of developing colorectal cancers. We can decrease this risk. Dietary factors to consider. Consider a diet rich in high fiber foods, vitamins C and E, beta carotene, and tea catechins, while avoiding red and processed meats, high fat dairy products, refined grains, starch, and sugar, to help reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. Lifestyle changes such as avoiding obesity, quitting smoking, and reducing sedentary behavior can help lower the risk of colorectal cancer. The sequence leading from polyp to cancer involves hyperplasia, adenomatous polyps, progression to adenocarcinoma, and potentially metastatic cancer, often associated with genetic mutations. Screening people at high risk of colorectal cancer we can detect polyps in the colon at an early stage where they can be removed endoscopically and prevent them from progressing into colorectal cancer. This strategy has proven itself in the West and it's high time that we employ it in India too. Screening for colorectal cancer is recommended for individuals aged 45 years and older, particularly those in high-risk groups or with worrisome features. The high-risk group for colorectal cancer includes individuals with a family history of the disease, inflammatory bowel disease, a personal history of colonic polyps, or genetic syndromes such as FAP and HNPCC. Worrisome symptoms of colorectal cancer include a change in bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, bleeding per rectum, and unexplained anemia. Screening for colorectal cancer can be done through methods like the fecal occult blood test and colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is a procedure where a flexible tube with a camera is used to examine the colon for abnormalities like polyps or tumors, as polyps can be removed during the procedure. Even if somebody is diagnosed with colorectal cancer, there are many effective treatments, both for early as well as recurrent metastatic disease. Treatment modalities for colorectal cancer include surgery, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, and radiation therapy. Surgery for colorectal cancers can be performed through small holes, that is laparoscopically, or can even be done using a robot. After surgery, there are no major restrictions and patients can have a normal life. Surgery for colorectal cancer aims to leave minimal scars, achieve precision through techniques like laparoscopy and robotics, minimize morbidity, and enable patients to resume a normal life after recovery. Radiotherapy is another modality that can be added either before or after surgery for colon cancer to prevent the tumor coming back again. Radiotherapy for colorectal cancer can be focused on the tumor using technologies like CyberKnife, providing precision to within a fraction of a millimeter and aiming for minimal side effect. What's positive about colorectal cancer is that when diagnosed early, it is often curable. Even with a delayed diagnosis, it remains treatable and long-term survival is possible. So dear friends, let's educate our family, our friends and our colleagues about this cancer. Remember, colorectal cancers are preventable, treatable and beatable.